Hey there, my name is John Siskovich. I'm a farmer in Western Connecticut. I'm also the founder and creative director here at Farm Marketing Solutions. And I love producing YouTube video content for you guys, but I also wanted to bring back something that I had done for a couple of years and then had taken a break from it, and that's podcasting. So today, without further much further intro, I'm gonna play you a clip from one of our podcast episodes. It has the video, so you're gonna see me and Troy, my co-host, talking on camera. Uh, we're gonna to discuss today why farmers work so hard, kind of what we get out of it, what's some of the psychology behind it, and uh, how things are changing for us people who are in agriculture working on farms. And then at the end of this episode, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a quick wrap up on what our podcast seasons are like, uh, what you can expect coming forward, and what tomorrow's clip is gonna be. Then I'm gonna share five clips with you this week uh, on the first three episodes of the podcast from this season. And uh, yeah, without further ado, here's uh, me and Troy talking about why people work so hard, why farmers work so hard. There's this expectation of, I don't know, society or whatever that, oh yeah, you, you guys work all the time. And, and if we take a, if we take a half a Sunday or, a few, a, or hey, uh, Mabel's um, got a soccer game and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carve out two hours to go cheer her on or whatever. Like somehow that's, oh, no, no. The, the hay needs to be made or the carrots need to get to those customers. And it's like a badge of dishonor to say, no, no, we're not, we're not gonna work here. We're gonna do this. Oh, well, you know, back in the, you know, at the coffee shop, you're, you're considered lazy. Right? It, there's this badge, like, if you don't work every minute, you don't find that balance. And that's crazy. But it we, is crazy. I think we put it on ourselves because we're like, yeah, we're, the farmers work hard. And this, this is where, this is where our, our, our old salty guy and, and young, young dreamer guy. I don't know. I got to get a good title. Young dreamer. You're not a dreamer. No. Uh, You're a realist. I'm a realist. Um... You're but, becoming more realist. But I'm seeing an increased focus uh, with the incoming generation of farmers into a more balanced work day, uh, where more of the conversations that are on podcasts or on some of these YouTube videos or uh, at the conferences in the hallways are about structuring your farm, about working eight to five, nine to five, you know, having a eight, nine hour day, five to six days a week, but not seven days a week with 10 to 12 hour days, where that is a driving focus. And if you're not focused on uh, Jean-Martin Fortier, Jim talked about it with Chris Blanchard on the Farmer Farmer podcast, that they became better farmers when they structured their day around, I think it was eight to five or eight to four, so that they had time in the afternoon, where they only gave themselves uh, a set amount of time to do the work. So anytime they went to do a task, they said, do I really have to do this? Because I have to fit in only the things that are necessary in order to get the job done for that day. And if you give yourself infinite amount of time to do a task, you're going to take infinite amount of time to do that task. That's why I set deadlines for everything. Even I work for myself all the time and I have to make my own schedule week to week, but I set deadlines where things have to get done by. I block out periods of time. I block out times for things to go wrong. Uh, and I'm very strict about my scheduling and my to-do list management prioritization because if I don't do that, I'll find myself underneath the tractor or the forklift instead of at Mabel's dance recital uh, or at home in time for dinner where I, I want to put an emphasis on structuring my day around not having to spend my entire day working. How's that going for you, buddy? This year, 2018 was one of the best years for that. Ever. It took it me took, it took me five or six years to get there. In the beginning, right. I you met me on year one, right. like ground zero. Yeah I, yeah. I was really into it. You were you loved laboring. I, you were like, so oh, I'm a farmer, I'm laboring, and then you're talking about well, the, podcasts on how much you're laboring, and everybody's like, Yeah, way to go, you're guys, laboring. I look at you old guys working so hard, I'm like, Yeah, they're working so hard, but they're the salt of the earth. Yeah, and, yeah. and there is a lot of truth. Like the you can't yeah, play yeah. down the work ethic of people nope. who get into agriculture, but, and so there's a romantic, romanticized notion of people getting into it of like, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to get my hands dirty. And yeah. that's, that's a percentage of what you do. There's another percentage of structuring time off and other activities, but also structuring time to be in the office where it is sunny outside, 
But if you don't fill out those reports or do your tracking, you're going to get down to the winter. You're not going to know where all your money went. You're going to make the same mistakes year after year. And it's hard to walk away from weeding those beds sometimes to get in and write down, ah, oh, weeded these beds today. Management. Yeah, management it's hard, is, right? is tough. Everybody it's, likes working on, wait, they like working, working in, in the, the business, business and not on the and business. And I'm in the same... So that's it for this podcast clip. I hope you enjoyed it. I love recording these conversations with Troy and I started up this podcast because I know that we both have a lot of good information to share. We have a good perspective on somebody who's still pretty fresh in the ag scene and then somebody who's been doing it for 30, 40 years already uh, and just the banter that goes on between us that we see th that we see the world different ways but we, we want to see the world be a better place all around. Now, uh, structure-wise, we had three seasons in the first, or three episodes in the first season of the podcast. That's because episode number four, the recording had crapped out and I lost time and it just, it is what it is. I lost an episode. We did season one to kind of catch our, our cadence, uh, set up our style and our format for the, for the year. And uh, just to get all the bugs out of iTunes and publishing a podcast for something that is gaining in popularity, it is, amazingly archaic uh, to be doing all of this stuff and without a full production team and somebody to be doing all the legwork on the back end it is just time consuming and difficult and I happen to have bad luck with it. So for three episodes in the first season you can catch those on farmmarketingsolutions.com on the home page there's a big button that says podcast you can click on that or if you go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash gfp for growing farms podcast I will have that link uh, below in the show notes for this podcast or YouTube video as well. Now tomorrow's short snippet, short clip for those of you who can't watch the whole podcast episode or don't want to download and watch or listen to the whole podcast episode. Today we talked about why farmers work so hard and uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk about, we're going to show you a clip about um, farmers finding their limits. What What is the limit? How, why are limits good? Why is it good to occasionally push yourself a little too far to figure out where those limits are and then uh, Troy and I discuss that in further detail in tomorrow's video. This podcast is on iTunes. It should be going out to all the major syndications for podcasts. Um, we're getting it up there as we can and March season two happens the first week in March so subscribe get those new episodes. They're going to be shorter than season one and uh, man they're on point and they're really I'm really proud of that content. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me and Troy, and until next time, I will see you guys out in the field.